And today's boiler, what we're looking at is a Valiant. It's a VCW 242E standard efficiency boiler. This is one of the old types. So before we look at this boiler in more detail, just a safety warning, just to make sure that you've um, turned off the boiler and isolated it. Take out the fuse out the um, spare switch, I'll pull it out there. So it's safe to work on. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, just tell about the controls etc on this boiler. So you can see uh, here you've just got the thermostat knob here. On this particular boiler it hasn't got a hot water potentiometer. That's your central heating on off switch. That's a main switch. This is the lockout button or lockout light should say. That's a button if it pops out. This will happen if you get no ignition. So if there's no gas or the gas valve's not working, you'll have 10 seconds to light and then that black button will pop out. And this you just got the pressure gauge and the temperature gauge. So we're going to look inside the boiler by removing these two screws. I've took the door off, there's a screw here, just take that out. And the bottom, well the top door, going to take that off, top screw there. And then we'll look inside the boiler. To remove the side panel, um, you just simply put your screwdriver through here and undo the screw, just back it off. Same on the top, and then this side panel can then just lift off. Okay, so we've taken the panels off, so we'll look inside. Now, in this particular problem, the customer's saying they're getting no central heating. Before going to that problem, I'll just give you a quick tour around the boiler. Um, inside this um, housing you've got the PCBs, you've got the motherboard which is on the front and inside there you've got another three PCBs you've got slots into it you've got um, a fan board you've got a flame supervision board and there's another board which is the electronic board so there's four boards in there all together this thing at the front is called the servo control valve. What happens when hot water is run? You see that lever there, it moves over and makes a micro switch. I'll just show you. It's moved over and it's made the switch, which is just there. So that's how the wa hot water starts and how the boiler starts. So that moves and then what should happen then? I'm just going to turn it on. The pump runs, the burner's fired up, and the diverter valve, which is connected by these tubes, pushes out the diverter valve into that position, like that. So this is like a, a hydraulic type of function. This servo control valve directs the pressure and pushes the diverts the valve out. When it's on central heating mode, it's the opposite effect. Now for the central heating, this is where the problem is. They get no central heating. And the problem is, if you look at the diverter valve, it's now in heating mode, but the diverter valve is still pushed out so it's in a wrong position that's supposed to push in and make them switches so that's your problem so that's going to be either the diverter valve itself or there's a block tubes in the bottom of the servo control valve so that's going to be your problem area so you'll have to drain the boiler down Check the tubes, see if they're blocked. If they're clear, then it's a diverter valve itself. 